Hey everyone, this is Richard Carthon with The Edge of AI, and today we got a special one for you. I know I'm really excited to learn more about this because this is a very one-of-one -one unique experience that is coming up very quickly that we're going to get to experience in real time. So today we have Walter DeBrower, um, who has been on the show previously with us over at Edge of NFT, but is doing amazing things in the AI space and is here to share a lot of all of the really cool things he's working on, as well as what's going on over at TED AI. So Walter DeBrower has established several AI and deep tech companies, four of which have undergone public offerings. His latest company, Doc AI, was acquired by ShareCare, where he serves as a chief scientific officer. WDB holds a PhD in computational semiotics and has been a professor at Stanford University since 2018, where he is the course director of MED 205. His research interests are in multimodal transformers, large music models, and autonomous agents. He is a general partner at uh, Claretis Capital, uh, which is in Nashville, and has a $1 billion private equity fund where he runs media and entertainment. He is the author of 53 patents, that's right, 53, and a member of Recording Academy uh, Grammys. Walter, pleasure to have you here today. No. Oh. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure too. Absolutely. So again, you're doing something pretty revolutionary as it relates to TED, having the very first TED AI. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Um, how were you able to incorporate this? When is it happening? And just give us some of those details. Yeah, it's um, so it's happening the 17th of October in the uh, San Francisco Opera, the Herbst Theater, for uh, 1,000 uh, seats. And uh, so in the tradition of TED, so I've been a TED member for a very long time. <clears throat> so there is the big TED, which uh, used to be in Monterey, then we went to Long Beach, then uh, so, and now it's in, uh, in, in Canada. Um, but um, so there is also the TEDxs, which are like local versions, where by doing by, by community, and so the, uh, this is actually a sort of a first um, TED version, uh, a real TED, but then on one specific topic, AI. And since AI is now everywhere, uh, so it's, uh, it, it became actually the opportunity to, for TED to come back with an AI version to San Francisco where, you know, the... AI is basically exploding and uh, accelerating. And uh, so, yeah, that's what we did. And in the tradition of TED, like having top speakers that, that are at the top of their game and mostly also at the top of their company with an audience that is also at the top of their game, but actually want to hear from these top, top people in comprehensible language, you know, in one day, you know, everything you need to know about AI. And so we have like 25 speakers, actually 30 if you do the entertainment. Uh, so every speaker will have 10, 15 minutes to explain something really, really, you know, uh, simple. Uh, but because this is a complex matter. So let me give you an example. An example would be uh, this is not one of the talks, but uh, just uh, uh, if you if you say like uh, uh, language is at the heart of AI now, you know, like uh, and uh, uh, and and certainly the English language, which is not only the first language in the world, the first second language, the first language of developers, first language of AI. So we're we're having we're, we're having a ball there, because a <laughs> linguistic ball. But uh, so that language you know, was, uh, it goes from our brain. And we have been studying the brain in, in you know, like the last 40 years. We, we found out with uh, Carl Friston, uh, drove that research that the brain per second has several scenarios of the future. And every second it corrects itself. So which scenario happens? And so it becomes very good at predicting the next second, then the next minute, then 
the next hour, then it goes like, you know, the farther you go, you know, like the more you, you can, you have to correct. Now, the same we can do with language. Language is, of course, you know, like a product of our brain. And uh, so we can do the next letter, you know, the next word, uh, the next sentence, the next chapter. And so we found, actually, with Transformers, a model that works. And with that model, we are now able to take language from something that was in our brain and that we write and that we speak and to put that in non-biological entities. And that's, of course, silicon in computers. But if you, and remember Marshall McLuhan, you know, the medium is the message. Now, what is the medium? Well, the medium is neural nets and their data and so, and then the carrier is a wave. So we make actually language an electrical signal, but by making it an electrical signal, we are also affecting the message. So, and how will that work in future? You know, like, uh, because something that is from deep in our brain, we are putting in, in something inorganic and it's, uh, it's really, a, it's a freaking miracle that, that machines can learn and can generalize and emerge things that we haven't thought about, although it might be interpolations, but, you know, the same thing happens with humans. We also, we, we think we're so exceptional, but we are a very derivative species, you know, like we are. And, and it, it's, it's all really fascinating and exciting. And I know even before we got on this call, we were talking about even some of the things you're doing at, at Stanford, doing some different use cases and how just amazing AI really is transforming lives and how quickly all this is coming about. So you're, you know, with this event that's coming on and as a reminder for everyone out there, it's October 17th and 18th. It's going to be in San Francisco. You have a hackathon that's happening before it. Um, for people who are interested into coming and being a part of this and learning lessons like you're, you're teaching us right now and then listening to the, the 30 plus speakers that you have going on, kind of walk us through like, uh, what can people expect on day one? What does day two look like? Yeah, so there is indeed a, the hackathon, you know, where they are divided in several groups. Um, then on, uh, uh, so this happens in the weekend. Um, so then on Monday, the speakers arrive. They will reside in the uh, Four Seasons in San Francisco. And then they will go to the opera to have the, the checks, you know, with their... Uh, uh, um, with the equipment and also with their uh, with their talks, and then there is a the speaker dinner. The day afterwards, like it's a full day from, and I think I think uh, eight thirty to to six, like with uh, several breaks in between where the audience can meet the speakers and can meet each other, and you know in a very TED like uh, manner. And then there is a dinner, then there is a a party and an after party. The day afterwards, there are panels in Shack 15, uh, you know, uh, five, six panels with, uh, you know, for the, for the audience who, because a lot of the audience flies in, you know, and stays around for a couple of days. And, and then, uh, you know, there's uh, several events still in the, uh, uh, in the air. We, we sort of, you know, we, we, we created a sort of a, a TET AI week instead of a TET AI day. And right. our, you know, like to give you an example from two of the projects of Stanford, you know, like, uh, so there is a project of Stanford called Simulacra of Human Behavior. I really love that. Uh, it's like, think about it as 25 software agents in a box, but they think they're alive. You know, because we have given them identities, we have given them jobs, and they're they're in they're living in a in a city called Smallville, you know, like, uh, and uh, so uh, they are going about their job, and in the evening they reflect all their all their day, um, and uh, so there, you know, we can actually run a civilization in an hour. You know, we can say like, what comes out of it, because. These are not happening in human time, you know? They are in right. computational time. So, or a product, let's throw it in the box and see how they react to it. You know, like it's so amazing. And 
and there are you know like now more and more in games we are we are starting by saying like instead of you know evolution is gradient descent you know it goes very very slowly so what about if you are not happy with your life write python code and change it you know like uh, so how would that work if we all write py uh, python code and change our lives you know we will have a complex dynamic system where some things are cancelled out and some things are happen there's so so much to do now uh, and i think by going to that day, you know, it's a sort of a uh, aha -ha, a moment that you had like from all these, and you will probably have like like you watch a good movie, you have scenes in your head, and and you remember, oh, that's where it came from, and that's where it's connected, and you know, like it takes a lot of knowledge to put something very simple, you know, but very simple that anyone yeah. can take, you know, and yeah. I remember once when we had our last conversation, you told me about this and it, it blew my mind. I, I brought it up at a couple of different dinner conversations and, and one of the references that, that came up was like, oh man, it almost feels like the Matrix. It almost feels like so many other like uh, early movies that came out that kind of talked about what an AI future would look like. And it, it, it's one of the things when you were telling me the story that got me excited about being able to go to this event. So I know that I'm personally psyched to be going to this amazing event. For everyone listening to this, if you want to get more information, you go to ai-event.ted.com. Again, that's ai-event.ted.com. And you can get your tickets. You can come learn more about really cool things like this uh, that Walter is creating, that all these other people are, are innovating and moving forward, getting the network and meet so many cool and innovative minds. And, you know, I Walter, thanks again for coming and, and being on this. And we're going to make sure to do an AI recap and do a deeper dive into to this and to so much else that was going to be discussed um, at this uh, particular TEDx event. But super excited for this. Walter, thank you again for coming on the show. And I can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Thank you.